Hi guys, this is Ty back again with another Nendoroid unboxing. This time it's number 399, Mia Nagasaki, for one of my favorite animes all about a girl with her special mahjong abilities, Saki. Here she is, as you can see from the window. Um, hopefully you can see through the glare. I apologize again for my crappy camera. Soon I'll get a new one, I promise. Uh, you can see some of the items that come with her. Here's the front. Here's the top. Here's the side. You see the clear window piece with her name on it. You see inside the box. And some of her poses, like her at the, her table. Her just standing with her hand out. The other side. Back of the table, showing her special ability. See the eye? Another window. And look at this crazy face. And here's the back of the box. Oh, with her friend, Nodoka. Um, as you can see, I purchased this from Kino Kaniya Bookstore in Manhattan. I was so surprised to see her because if you don't know, this one has been sold out online for months and she's very hard to find. So imagine my surprise when I walked in there yesterday and here's one sitting at the back of a shelf. I guess um, there's some extra tape on it, so I guess this is one someone brought back, but it seems to be in good condition, so I'm not complaining about it. Here we go. Let's open her up. flaps and top the box. Um, the inside of the box is plain. It just has her number in it and it's all red and that's about it. Oh. Here's the typical Nendoroid instructions which we're all familiar with now. See these? All right, let's go inside. And here she is! Ta-da! Look at her, she's smiling. Look at her table, it's awesome accessory. And the chair. And the arm pieces. All right, let's open it up. Oops. And I'm dropping pieces over, all over the place as usual. I know you guys aren't surprised about that one. Here's a little piece I guess for one of her special effects um, another piece for one of her special effects hmm. All right. here's her base seal um, special arm piece release. standard base as you can see it's a square here's the company's writing I don't know if you guys can see that on there but it's a legit base. Standard. Comes with all Nendoroids. Um, here's an arm piece to display. And an extra neck piece. I'll leave that there so I don't lose it. And here is Saki herself. Isn't she adorable? Oh, she still has plastic under her skirt. You guys remember what happened with Yuga when I did that one, right? Oh, look at her face. She's so cute. She's adorable. Oh. Alright, take this extra plastic piece off. Oh, here's a skirt bottom. You see the transparent peg to show this is a legit model. Oh, some more plastic underneath. I'll take that out. But for now, <clears throat> stand her there. You know, she won't stand up by herself, lay her down. Here's her mahjong table. See the top? Really good detail here on the edges. I don't know if you guys can tell. There we go. And here's the bottom of it. The base. And it sits up like this. Uh, it's not a good place to look at it, but as you can see, how it sits. Here's her chair to sit her on. <gasps> Isn't this cute? I'll prop this up here for now just to show you, but it will sit like this. Okay. Oh, I see the peg, so you can put it down on the base for her to sit down on. I got it. That's what it wouldn't stand up. Here's her face, which is like her concentrating phase. This is her scared face. Look, her eyes is all big. Typical anime face. 
Oh, she has another set of legs. For sitting down in chair for sit pose. Isn't this cute? She comes with an additional skirt. This one's shorter. Let's switch up. Um, here's an eye effect piece. I'm not sure you guys can see that well. Uh, for those who don't know, like she has like a uncanny ability of playing mahjong, and sometimes she has this flash from her eye in the anime. And additional arm pieces. Um, these are the bent arms. See this? Ha I don't know if you can see this. This has the mahjong piece. So uh, she's playing at the table. She smacks it down. It's awesome. And just another bent arm. Oh, um, these are the connector arms so that if you get Nodoka also from the series that they can have their pinky promise as they do in the anime. That's really cute. They did that. And, oh, another bent arm, which a uh, straight hand. And a straight arm with another mahjong piece on it. So if you wanted her arm out straight instead of bent with the game piece in, if you guys can see that. Putting some pieces on here. Uh, I think this one I'm going to stick with for now. Her sitting at her table. See the double peg goes at her back to hold her up. Let's stick her all the way in yet. It's a little hard to get her the in the chair, the peg in. So I'm gonna hold it slightly so she doesn't drop. But as you can see from the side, this is what she would look like sitting in the table. As you can see the peg, that's how it would fit in the back. See, I just want to hold her because uh, I don't have it in very well and she'll fall. And um, this is if you had her sitting at the table. This is with the her arms down straight. Oh, let me see if I can fit her. This is her at her table. At the mahjong, ready to play. Okay, here's one. Other poses on the well, not quite. I mean, this is her stoic face when she's concentrating when she gets in the zone while playing mahjong. Okay, and go back to her happy face because that's the face I like best. Oh, it's crazy. And this is the face that's going to stay on. So I don't have to go through changing these face plates again. Okay. And here's one of her other poses. Her arm's coming up. As you from the box, which is her with her arm showing, sticking out with the mahjong tile. Isn't it awesome? I like that. So okay, cute. I'm back, and I apparently this effect piece you goes on this arm with her mahjong tile. It slides on, holds on like that, and then to have it uh, affect with the table, which I don't want to put the table in that part yet, but it's harder with her chair sitting in the peg. Um, let me see. This way, like I said. This peg for the chair to go on her back is a little stiff. Okay. As you can see, here she is at this pose. Uh, I don't have it set right. I apologize for that. But this is technically what it's supposed to look like when she does it. See, with the smoke effect, as if she's slamming it down onto the mahjong table. I'll have to continue to play with that a little bit to see how that works. Okay, for her last pose, we're going to go with the one she uses when she does her special move of the Rinshin Kaiho in, during Mahjong. And uh, that requires me to, well, to take the hair off again, the front bang. And this piece. This is going to be a problem. 
<laughs> anyway, this oops, yellow effect fits somewhere. See, in the back of the bang, there's a notch here. Oh, I'm pointing it with the yellow, but you can see the notch. I don't know if you can see the notch right here. You see the well, it's darker, that darker line. That's the notch sitting right at the chair. And this is when she's about to do her special Rinchen Kaiho, which for those who, well, it's hard to explain the move if you don't play Mahjong. Um, just watch the anime and you'll see. But uh, she gets a flash from her eye, kind of like this extra sight, before she slams down her pieces and scores points. And that's it, guys. I'm not sure this might be my final move pose for her. I'm going to set up for a while for now. Um, sorry for all the mishaps, but thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.